Okay, today we're talking about estimating angles, and in order to estimate angles, um, what we want to do is we want to use um, commonly known or what we would say identifiable angles um, in order to um, estimate an angle. So I'm going to do that by um, simply reminding myself very quickly that a 90 degree angle or a right angle looks like that, um, and a straight angle looks like that. And remember, both of these have to have a vertex or a point where both of the lines or our rays start from. Okay, And just by using these identifiable angles, I can help myself just kind of estimate some different angles. Um, I'm going to draw an angle below. Um, in this case, my angle's right here. I've got my vertex there, which is where both of my um, points are, or both of my lines are starting. And I'm going to estimate. The first place is to think about, hmm, is it closer to 180 or is it closer to uh, 90? And obviously, it looks like it's a lot closer to 90 degrees. So I can think to myself, man, I, I think it's going to be probably... Um, less than 90, that makes sense that it's less than 90 degrees. Um, and then what I have to ask myself is I have to ask myself, how much less than 90 is it going to be? Is it about half of 90 degrees? Is it less than half of 90 degrees? And I'm estimating, and to me that looks like just a little bit less than half of 90 degrees. Um, so if I were to cut 90 degrees in half, that would be 45 degrees. And I said it's, yeah, it looks a little bit less, so I'm going to make an estimation that that's about 40 degrees. Okay? It doesn't have to be exact. Right now I want a number that I can work with easily um, that is um, just an estimation. Okay, let's look at another example of an angle. On this one, again, I can use my commonly known or my identifiable angles to help me out. I can look and I can recognize I've got a vertex, a point where both of these angles start. And this is really helpful to use both 90 degrees and 180 degrees to help me out. Because I can see it's, it's actually pretty close to both of these. I know it's over 90 degrees. I know it's less than 180 degrees. And so I'm going to use um, both of these to help myself out. If I'm thinking about it with 90 degrees, um, I might think that it comes a little bit extra. And I'm going to use a different color there so it's a little easier to see. Um, so it's looking a little bit extra to me. If I'm on 180 degrees, it's looking a little less to me. So I'm thinking in my head, how much am I adding to 90 degrees or how much am I taking away from 180 degrees? And either of those two things would work. Um, to me, this measurement here looks about the same as what we just did, which we estimated to be about 40 degrees. So if I had 180 degrees minus 40 degrees, if I said that that was about 40 degrees, I could estimate this to be about 140 degrees. Let's do another one. And again, we just get to use those commonly known um, pieces to help us out along the way. Let's draw another angle. Um, this angle we're going to draw like this. And I'm going to think to myself, I'm going to go, man, this looks way less than 90 degrees. A way that I might estimate this one, oops, that doesn't look very accurate. I'm, I'm going to think about drawing several of these until I fill up 90 degrees. And to me, it looks like I could fit about four, one, two, three, four um, of those in a 90 degree segment. So if I took 90 degrees and I divided it by four, I would end up with about 22.5. And this is just an estimation. So I'm going to guess that's about 22 degrees, or I could even say estimation of 20 degrees. Let's look at one more example. Um, and again, all of these, we are just using our angle, commonly known angle measurements. Let's look at one more, though, that might be a little bit trickier. This one, let's 
do this. And this time, instead of measuring my interior angle, which we've done for all of the rest of them, I'm going to measure my exterior angle. I want to measure all the way around that. Well, one way that I can do that is I can think about this line, my black line, being a 180 degrees. And then I can estimate this part um, to figure out how much I need to add on to 180. So if I know this part's 180 degrees, I'm going to estimate this angle. I know it's going to be larger than 90 degrees. Um, I am trying to think about how much more than 90 degrees. So if that's my 90 degree line, I'm thinking that looks like it kind of split almost in half. So I'm thinking about 180 plus 45 degrees. And that is going to give me about 225 degrees total. So when we're estimating, we're just trying to come back to angles that we know, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or we can even think about a circle being 360 degrees, and using that to help us estimate a reasonable answer.